So although I don't use tech forums or groups very often, I do come across questions many people have on various subjects. One of them specifically interesting for water coolers is how the radiator orientation affects the thermal performance of your CPU. I was also interested in the question myself, so I decided to test it out for a little bit and share the results with you guys. I'll be comparing four sets of data, front intake, top intake, top exhaust, and back exhaust. I believe these four configurations are likely the most popular and most used configurations, that's why I decided to go with them. I'm only strictly comparing CPU thermals in this experiment, but you should always still consider air ventilation, air pressure, and aesthetics before you configure your setup. I use Prime95 as my CPU stress tester, which prints my CPU usage to 100% for 20 minutes, when I take a data every 3 minutes after the first 5 minutes. As for components, I am using the AMD FX6300 without overclocking as my CPU, and an NZXC H440 as a case. I do realize H440 does have very strict front and top covers, and I do have to admit that it will likely affect the results and not allow me to get the cleanest data, but unfortunately this is what I have to work with. This is not an apple to apple comparison and your results might end up dramatically different under rare circumstances, although this test should give you a general idea for the performances you can expect. But let's stop the chit chatting and let's get into your numbers. So I don't really know where to start since the lines doesn't really fit my original hypothesis. Contrary to what I would have expected, exhaust options seem to have very consistent performances. The top and back exhaust only return me with 1 to 2 degrees of difference, which is really not seen when compared to your intake options. Top and front intake have a dramatic difference between them. After just 5 minutes, top intake has ramped up to 8 degrees higher than front intake. This shouldn't be because the top intake is being suffocated, because if that's the case, we should see worse performance for top exhaust, so I suspect this to be more of a fold for airflow and air dynamics. Although I cannot tell you what exactly is going on since I do not have a smoke machine with me, which I can use to visualize the airflow. But in general, the data tells us if you are setting up a single radiator for your water cooling rig, you should probably attempt to fit it in the front first, and use it as an intake. If you can't do that, back or top exhaust should be your best options, but try now do top intake. But anyways guys, I guess that's about it for this video. I know it's a little bit short, so tell me in the comments below or through Twitter at PengTypeProd if you prefer short and concise videos or long but detailed videos. Like and subscribe if you love the video and would like to see more in the future. Every support is very much appreciated. But anyways guys, I guess that's about it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.